Brace yourself to see indoor farming system that is at another level. Watch this. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Richard Aguilar and of course, this is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And now, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon for you to always be updated with our new videos. Indoor farming, also known as vertical farming, is now becoming popular in the world as many people have already tried this kind of farming system and are already benefiting from the produce of it. So in this video, we are going to talk about indoor farming that is at another level. And without wasting any more of your time, let's get into our video. Number one is vertical farming brings high-tech approach to metropolitan agriculture. You could call it farming for the future. A local entrepreneur has a high-tech take on agriculture that could change what ends up on our plates. Six types of lettuce are stacked in a four-level tower under the glow of purple LED light in its back of the yard's facility. The farm produces three tons of greens in one year's time, which is what a farmer could do with soldier field but in just four parking spaces. Number two is aquaponic farming saves water. Aquaponics, a system of farming that uses no soil, also uses far less water than traditional agriculture. But while the technique is gaining attention, it remains a very niche way to grow produce due to economic limitations. An ancient farming technique has uses far less water than traditional agriculture is getting new attention around the country, especially in the drought-stricken West. Number 3 is an aquaponic vertical farm grows in Brooklyn. Aquaponic vertical farm startup Eden Works grows all manner of microgreens there in Brooklyn operation. Grown in a self-sustaining ecosystem, their nutrient-rich product is intended to be on shelves 24 hours after it is harvested with the hope of changing the way produce is created and distributed in large cities. Number 4 is Korean Scientists Research Solar Options for Eco-Farming Solar energy is said by some and hoped by many to be the future of renewable energy for the world.
Work on solar-related technology has been ongoing at a leading institute here in Korea, and researchers there have completed a high-tech facility that utilizes the sun rays to grow crops indoors. Number 5 is Korean researchers develop cost-effective hydroponics technology. Above these freshwater fish tanks are trays of lettuce. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants using nutrients in the water instead of soil. In this case, fish poop acts as fertilizer for the lettuce, which also help keep the tank clean. The water used to nourish other plants is directed back into the tanks for raising fish. Number 6 is, scientists unearth the secrets of mushroom compost. Mushrooms are big business. More than 1 million tons are grown in the European Union each year, producing a healthy, low-fat, high-protein foods that's also rich in minerals and vitamins. But there is a downside. Every ton of mushrooms generates 3 tons of compost, a mixture of chicken litter, straw, gypsum, and peat. Getting rid of the compost has become a major logistic and economic challenge for the growers, one that is now the focus of a European research project. Number 7 is Vertical Farming Comes to North Texas It will be able to produce 10 to 15 harvests each year. Traditional soil-based farming can only yield 2 harvests annually. This method of farming means that there is no restrictions to where produce can be grown. Number 8 is an indoor urban farm in Singapore. In land-strapped Singapore, farming is not a word one hears often, but a group of urban farmers working in the heart of the city-state are looking to change that. The citizen farm houses indoor farms for herbs and traditional soil-based plants as well as a fishery. But the coolest part is the insecta, where they breed black soldier flies to help convert food waste into fertilizer. And that 
that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Richard Aguilar. And this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.